Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about, I should have quit my job. Let's get started and talk about it. But before getting into it, I just have a question for all of you who may want to answer. Have any of you at any time in your life had either a full-time job or a part-time job that when you added up the travel time and everything that went into the job, you realize you actually might be losing money rather than earning money? Well, I had that situation happen to me before I started the YouTube channel, and I'm going to get right into it and just tell you a little bit about this story. You guys know I've been doing product demonstrations, I would say right around 27 years. I love doing them. I've done all different kinds where I get to pass out samples to fabulous customers or I educate them on a product. It's a lot of fun. You guys know I'm very much a people person, so it's a great fit for me, and I still love to do it. That being said, I was doing product demonstrations for a company for a long time, handing out samples of sausage. I absolutely loved it. Well, life happens sometimes. Things change. This particular company was changing the product that they were doing and then also changing the stores we were going to. So I went from doing one thing to another. And what ended up happening is they were wanting, not just me, other demonstrators as well, they were wanting us to work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday which was not a good fit for me since I work from home and I schedule. And they were also wanting to send us all over the ones that lived here in the DFW area, the entire DFW area. That means Dallas, Fort Worth. And some of you don't live in here. And even if you lived in the United States, you may not understand. But the Dallas, Fort Worth Metroplex is very large and very spread out. Even I live, you know, on a, in a suburb of Dallas and to get from one side of the suburb to the next could take 50 minutes. So that kind of tells you that if I rode even from one part of Dallas to the other, whether or not there's traffic, it could take an hour and a half. So you can imagine. That being said, because I thought I was frugal and I had this wonderful budget, but I had all these auto ships and expenses, and a lot of them were things that I call obligations, where I felt like I was gonna let somebody down if I cut certain things out of my budget. And so I thought I was living as frugally as I possibly could, which I was not, by the way. And because of that, I didn't feel that I had the option to quit. So I kept this particular demo job for a while, even though a lot of the demos were far away, and it wasn't, didn't work out because it was putting wear and tear and it was too far. And the demos were not the kind of demos I was used to doing. It involved a lot of setup um, and it involved a lot of takedown. There was just a lot of work that became involved with it. I did finally decide to really go through my budget and cut some things out that I just didn't feel like I needed to be obligated to anymore. And I made some changes to our budget and I cut that out and then I went to another demo job that also that company ended up closing and that didn't work out. So I took some time off for a little while and then now I'm doing product demos again for Advantage. What I love about Advantage Sales and Marketing is when you fill out this little form it asks how many miles are you willing to go. And so I put that amount in there so now I don't get sent far. They're not going to think to send me to the other part of the Metroplex so it works out. But I'm bringing this up because I really thought that I should keep this particular job or whatever you want to call side hustle, side gig, because I thought, oh, I needed the money. But by the time I looked into it and looked at the wear and tear on the car, the travel time, the time taking to travel, all the stress that was involved in that doing the product demos just wasn't fun anymore, it wasn't worth it. And there, I know it's wonderful and I always advocate making more money. And I do love to make more money and look for side hustles. But on the other hand, and I don't normally talk about this, there are times where it may not be worth it to make that extra side hustle. It'd be better for us and in that situation for me to cut my budget back for whatever money I was making that month to find ways to tweak my budget to so that I didn't have as much money going out of the house each month and make less money because I feel like in the end, I ended up doing better by resigning from that position. So I want to ask you guys this. Have any of you had any type of side gig before that you just realized after weighing pros and cons, it just wasn't worth it in the end and you ended up costing you money? That's what happened to me. And my little hint for that to say is, guys, I know sometimes some of us feel obligated to help, maybe help others out or have certain auto ships. We may feel loyalty. 
But with the end of the day, we're the ones that have to pay our bills. So sometimes we do have to say no to things to be better for us. So I'm going to leave you with that. Let me know what you guys think. Don't go anywhere, guys, because I have one thing to tell you. Please come back tomorrow because tomorrow on Tuesday, I'm going to talk to you guys about nine tips for batch cooking and one thing I really botched up so mistakes I learned along the way from batch cooking that I feel may be helpful to some of you that may be interested in batch cooking. That's all for now. This is Money Mom signing off and as always I love you. Bye bye.